Hi, this is Mark from National Instruments. Welcome to the second video tutorial of LabVIEW. In this tutorial, we'll discuss in greater detail the concept of data flow, which is functional blocks of code executing sequentially, and that sequential execution being controlled by the wires that feed into them. I'll demonstrate this with a simple sample program. As I stated in our first video, our front panel is made up of controls and indicators. We can also add constants to our block diagram by right-clicking. Here I'll add a numeric constant and a Boolean constant. I'll delete the Boolean constant since we won't need it for this program. We can edit the value of our numeric constant by double-clicking and typing in the new value. I'm going to add another function to my block diagram. Here, I will add the multiply function. In LabVIEW, we have a concept called data flow, which is one functional block of code cannot execute until the functional block of code before it has finished executing. I'll demonstrate this with our add and multiply function and highlight execution. As you can see, our add function has to complete before our multiply function can complete. This can also be seen on our front panel. First our add completes, and then multiply. This concludes our second video tutorial. If you have any questions on data flow or any of the other concepts in these videos, or just questions on programming LabVIEW in general, please post them on the NI First discussion forums.